In this video, we'll figure out the number of atoms for sodium acetate. Now, there's a number of ways you can write the formula for sodium acetate. Here, we have this acetate ion. This is the acetate ion. So sometimes the sodium atom will be in front of it. Sometimes it'll be after the acetate ion. You could also write the acetate ion like this. These here, they're the same thing. It's all the same thing, just arranged a little bit differently. So let's find the number of atoms in sodium acetate. First, we'll write the element symbols. We have Na, that's our sodium, and then we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So those are the atoms we have in sodium acetate. For the sodium, we don't have anything written after the Na. So the subscript, we're gonna assume that's one. We have one sodium atom. Same for the carbon here, we have one carbon. But be careful, there's another carbon over here with a subscript of one. So one plus one, we have two carbon atoms. Then for hydrogen, we have three of those. Then oxygen, we have one plus one, two oxygen atoms. If you add all of these up, you get a total of eight atoms in sodium acetate. Sometimes you'll be asked to figure out the number of sodium atoms in one mole of sodium acetate. To do that, we have one sodium atom. We just multiply that by Avogadro's number, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That tells us how many atoms of sodium we have in one mole of sodium acetate. For the carbon, you would multiply it two times Avogadro's number. The hydrogen, we'd multiply three times Avogadro's number. And then for the oxygen here, we would just multiply two times Avogadro's number, just like the carbon. So that's how you find the number of atoms in sodium acetate. One thing to note though, that the acetate ion, that's CH3COO minus, the sodium forms positive ions. So we get sodium and the acetate, they bond together in an ionic bond, net charge is zero. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.